Hey guys, this is Xanax, and I have my friend with me. Alex. And that is all you will know me by. And we want to talk about uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. So basically, the game came out in Japan late last year. And we've been waiting on it for a long time. Well, I've been waiting on it. He's more so You're like, dang right you've been waiting for it. I'm not waiting for that crap. <laughs> He says that now, but I just showed him like a gameplay trailer and he was like <clears throat> all fascinated with it and everything. Lies. That was my twin. Okay. Who does not exist right now. Whatever, bro. Whatever you say. He exists when I will him to. Don't be in denial. It's an awesome game. It was nice. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, um, I've been anticipating it for a long time now and it was announced to be released early this year, but then they pushed it back and I was like, Like what? my hopes for having a girlfriend. They're always pushed back. <laughs> No hope. Stop hoping. <laughs> yeah, they were pushed back, and um, I was. I, I'm understandable. I've been online gaming for over a decade now, so I understand. But since then, nothing. Like since March, there has been no news about it. No U.S. release news. Anything. It's like so, shut up and take our money already. <laughs> exactly. I just want to feed them more and more of my money, but... They don't you know, want to buy. It's like, our money's not good enough? <laughs> Do we need to spray perfume on it? Guess not, man. Um, so, yeah, but no updates since March, and I've been waiting, waiting. Until this week, they actually released some news, but not exactly news I even care about. <laughs> it could be... News that no one will care about. <laughs> Unless you're in Asia. So basically, they re they announced that it's actually going to be released in Asia, and they're releasing it sometime next year. <laughs> I don't think Asia's going to care because if we don't get it. Then you know, it's long live the brotherhood. Amen. I mean, it always seems like Asia gets it first anyway, so that's nothing. I think new. that's racist. Hey, hey, that they get everything. We cannot first. use the R word. That is correct. <laughs> Politically correct. <laughs> Um, no, but I'm really bummed about that because still, even though they released the Asian release date, which is 2014, Damn. yeah, not even like in the next five months, or whatever. Um, nothing about the US release, no Western news has been heard about since March, and that's pretty messed up. Yeah, yes, it is. Anyway, all I got to say is that they better release soon because a lot of people, and well, not me, I really like the game. And I've already played it, you know, used the Sorcerer. English guy. I haven't played it. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese, but there was a guide when it first released and I used it to navigate the game. And it is a really fun game. But I, I was just tired of navigating and going by imagery. I wanted to be able to read and been waiting for the US release for a long time now. Because if I can't read, that makes me weep. I don't know what that's supposed to Alex, mean coherently. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't really make much sense. It's besides the point. Some nerd out there will get it. He'll feel that I'm fulfilling him. Oh, you're fulfilling some my listeners. Yeah, now. one of your listeners, you're the one, chosen one, the chosen one to rule them. Which all. one of you are the chosen one? Yeah, leave a comment. How about that? Which one of you is the chosen one? Yes, yes, do that. <laughs> anyway, I just hope they're really soon. I'll still play it. But they better release soon because Blade and Soul is coming out. Elder Scrolls Online, which I know he wants, oh, is coming wait, out. No, I want it for the Xbox One. Yeah, I keep dreaming. <laughs> I will. <laughs> when I get a girlfriend. Oh, that, that could be... Never. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, us gamers don't really... Uh... Get into relationships like that. Has something to do with our handsome looks. Yes, definitely that handsome diet of uh, Fritos and Cheetos. Pretty much. And well, you like them Fritos. Well, Fritos, I'm... Cheetos, and I love some Doritos. Yeah, I love some Doritos. Mm, cool Taco Ranch. Bell. Yeah, they let's, do right. let's not endorse yeah. companies that don't. Pay <laughs> you want me to talk about you, Taco? You yes. Give me money, and then I'll send, send some bell. endorsements. Yes, 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 definitely. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, Fat let us know pockets. if you're looking forward to uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 as well. Let us know. I'm really up. bummed because especially like going three plus months, I'm bad at math. So like I'm five bummed. months. <laughs> and I don't even know anything about the game except that I like the video that you showed me. <laughs> yeah, three, four months uh, without any word about a US release. Come on, Sega or whoever's going to publish it. Y'all got to step that game up.
Sell your soul to the devil if you have to. Just do it already. Yes, take my money. Shut I up want. and take our money. Yes. Take my money. You're the one just was, was ragging on it. Listen, I can flip-flop. If candidates can do it, I can do it too. I can flip-flop. So this is political now? Yes. YouTube is the political if, system. If you could be a professional athlete and play a game... What is the United States? That is a, I can be a politician in gaming too. That is another subject for another time. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's cover that now. Oh, yeah. That's Since you want to bring it up. All right, fine. Yeah. This was just going to be about Fantasy Star Online too, but the way we do it, whatever comes up, we'll talk about it. So basically what he's referring to is League of Legends players, pro, quote unquote, pro League of Legends players are now considered professional athletes by the U.S. government. What do you think about that? What don't I think about that? I mean, is it crazy or is it good news? At the end of the day, they're still not going to be paid as much as athletes. And in my mind, you are not an athlete. You are just a... <laughs> I don't even know. Words can't describe how I feel about that. It's like it is a slap in the face of all sportsmanship everywhere and that's not even a coherent sentence and i don't care dang it because i'm that angry no <laughs> you're angry i mean then again the u.s government does say that even bowlers are the professional U athletes. the u.s government says a lot of things that make no sense <laughs> even less sense <laughs> hey, than what hey, i said this is a game show we do not talk about politics okay <laughs> well as, as soon as they start evolving wait first of all they already brought their politics into it when they started calling these people and yes i said these people athletes Okay. You don't so, play ball? You don't catch nothing? <laughs> you don't dunk them? Well, you, you use your fingers a lot and you... Oh, they dunk their it. fingers into the letter K. <laughs> I don't know what K does, but maybe they should just... It, I don't think it does anything. Knock but I don't play League of Legends. So K don't, for knock yourself out. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But my side of it, I'm really surprised. And I'm really concerned because how do you define pro League of Legends players? Okay, there is the fact that there's a pro league formed by the ESL, the... Um, Electronic Sports League, I think it's called. Correct and them in the comment section if it's not called. I think it's the yeah, yeah, ESL Electronic. And even if he is right, sports league. correct them anyways <laughs> with something that's not true. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so they've really they've been paying paying uh, League of Legends players regular salaries now. They've been doing the tournaments, and I understand there is really a pro level of it. But what stops me? Someone that's maybe played League of Legends for a total about an hour to be like, yeah, I'm a pro League of Legends player. Let me, well, I'm already in the U.S., but let me come to the U.S. and try and get a visa, whatever. It could happen. And yes, there's background checks, so there's no real security, like, you know, concerns over that part. But I'm not a professional athlete. Like, just because I'm the best of the best, which I usually am. In my own dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Your dreams. Because I am the ultimate of ultimates. In his own dreams. <laughs> um, I don't... I'm kind of happy because I'm a gamer. And there are certain games that I would like to be considered a professional athlete at. Because I am that good. But overall, I'm kind of concerned. No tip of the hat and a wag of the finger. What, what does that mean? That's British. Ask a British person. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but what do you guys think? Like, what I really am even concerned what what I really am concerned about, like I said, is the whole security thing about it. Like, there is no definition of what a pro League of Legends player is, and just because you're really good, I know a couple of friends that are really really good at League of Legends. They're not in the pro league. They're pro league level type players, but they're not in a team. They're not on a salary or anything. And would that would they be then able to get a visa in the U.S. government wow. by the U.S. government to okay. be here? Um, and yeah, so I want to um really dig into the subject. What do you think, bro? Like really, like legitimately? Hey, I'm all all jokes aside. I'm all for visas. That's um, so I think yeah, okay, that's cool. If you could get a visa out of it, sure, why not? I'm um, like, it could allow not the credit card. I know. <laughs> I like money. I like both visas, money. And the kind that lets you stay here because this is a great place to live. Long live America. Amen. <laughs> so, yeah, if you haven't really figured out what we meant, is basically, um, so, yeah, it goes like this. If you are a League of Legends player outside of America, you can actually petition in the, to the U.S. government to be 
classified as a U.S. um I mean a professional athlete and come to America as a working on a work type visa and you'd be able to be in the U.S. on this visa. And this really is a huge, huge thing for Riot Games because they just announced that they're actually going to be at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. What a convenient time for a call. Yeah, tell them to die. Hey, Adam, say what's up. <laughs> We're actually doing a live broadcast, and he called in the middle of it. Crash your car into a bush. I will have to call you back in about uh, 15 May that bush crash into you. Yes, man. <laughs> hey, that's how we do it here. You know, we just do one take. We don't go back and re-edit whatever. Um. So, yeah, basically, where was I? You were talking about visas and how you can come here. Staples Center. Yeah. yeah that's the only time I'm going to be serious, so enjoy it. It's gone. <laughs> Staples Center. And um, this was a huge thing, like mega for a game to be hosted at that type of avenue wait venue it's pretty huge and so what re this really means is that those international players because there's a huge tournament coming up there's china and i believe north korea is going to be involved i mean south korea wow i am korea don't quote me um they're going to be involved and they essentially can come to the U.S. on this visa and it's much easier for Riot Games to host these international tournaments. Um, I personally do want to see this become a huge thing because I am a fan of esports. I feel like esports is the next um, evolution for online gaming because yes we have the new next gen consoles and we have the new platforms and everything but we need a real competitive revolution um, beyond like leaderboards and beyond, you know, yes, please. local tournaments, we need bigger, Make mega, it more worthwhile. Oh, and yes. yeah, so regulate just, it, regulate, uh, regulate, regulate. It, uh, Wait, it's not regulate. No, it's uh, no. Please, no regulations because it is awesome getting non-tax money from tournaments. Yeah, that is awesome. Actually, I think in the US you do have to pay taxes on those cash prizes, but wow, that sucks. Yeah, if it's hosted in the U.S., but... That's America for you. Hey, you got to pay your taxes, man. Don't want Uncle Sam coming after you. Yeah, because then you get it in a booty. Um, Yeah, that's all him. <laughs> that's all Whatever me. floats your boat, Alex. And I don't like that, but you're going to go to prison, and you're going to get it there if you don't pay your taxes. <laughs> Long live America. Long live America. Anyway, guys, uh, just, yeah, just leave your comments below. Let us know what you think on both of these issues. Fantasy Star Online, not... A single word about the U.S. release since March and League of Legends. If you are a quote-unquote pro League of Legends player, you can now be considered a professional athlete in America. Also, choose what our catchphrases will be from now on. We'll say a new catchphrase every video, and then you make the decision in the comment section on which ones you think is best. Mine's will be dunk it in vodka. Sean's is just quiet. That's it. <laughs> Yes, it is always very entertaining to have you here, Alex. Whatever. My presence is a blessing. You're welcome. <laughs> and again, he's a dreamer. Duncan and vodka. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. See ya.